We honor you, we Thank magnify you, your Spirit. name. You Koro are God, Mosanda. you are great, you yes, are you mighty. Are, yes, you, are. you never change, you yes, never you disappoint. Yes, you are. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, we thank you for your protection. We thank you for life. We thank you for your mighty hand that is doing great and mighty things in our lives and on our behalf. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for all your protection, for your provision. We thank you for the peace that surpasses all understanding. To you, O oh God, be all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we bless you for what you have been doing on this program. Thank you for lives that have been touched. Thank you for stories that have been changed for good. And we thank you for what you have in store for us today. We bless you everlasting, Father. Receive our thanksgiving, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we commit tonight's program into your hands. We pray that you will speak like never before. Yes, For everyone that is connected and those who will still watch later, we pray that your mighty hand will rest upon them. That which you have prepared for us even before we enter this day. Lord, we pray that you will make it manifest without delay. In the name of Jesus, we take authority over the atmosphere. We command the, every, the element of heaven and earth to align themselves with the perfect will of God. And at the end of the day, we shall give you all the glory and yes. honor. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is awesome. Mm. God is good. Somebody just type it out. God is good. God is good. God is Somebody good. testify tonight and Allah say, Allah. God is good. Mm. Go ahead and say, God is good. God is good. God is good. Do I have someone online who agrees with me that God is good? Good. Mm. Yes, God is good. This is Thursday and it's abundant living session. We say abundant living session because it has been taken from the book of John chapter 10, verse 10. Mm. The Bible says the thief came to steal, kill and destroy. But thank God the story did not end there. Thank God. Mm. Thank God that story did not end there. Hallelujah. Thank God the story did not Hallelujah. end there. Hallelujah. And the Bible says Jesus came so that you and I can have life and have it in abundance. Mm. That is why tonight we are saying, welcome to Abundant Living Sessions. Yes, this is a program where mm. we are being taught about how to live our lives in abundance. Mm. No, this is not a place for Zula life. We don't do Zula mm -hmm. here. Here mm -hmm. it is life in, in abundance. abundance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Overflow. Oh, yes. Overflow. In every teaching, I'm telling you, especially the past weeks, not that the other weeks were not hot, <laughs> but especially the past weeks, the Lord is nudging somebody to say, you know what? 
come out, come out, come out. Mm. I've got something better. I've mm. got something great. Hallelujah. I've got something more juicy for you. Come out, come out, come out from where you are. That is how it has been. And we are continuing in the same, same manner tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I welcome everyone who is online. Please remember to invite someone. Remember to invite your sister, your brother. If you have realized that the person who is always tuning in with you is not online. Why don't you go ahead and just remind someone and say, come online, come online. We are starting with Abundant Living Session. Hallelujah. 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 And tonight I want to ask you a question as we are kicking off with the program tonight. Have you or someone that you know, perhaps, mm. you know, try to do something perhaps you or someone that you know you have you have tried to do something and all of a sudden you just lost interest mm -hmm. along the way you just lost interest you have started something and along the way you just lost interest and have you put your mind on something or you decided this is what i want to do and then all of a sudden you you just decided you you don't want to go ahead mm -hmm. with that idea mm -hmm. you you just want to drop everything mm -hmm out of the blue now not because you were disappointed not because you were disappointed like we discussed last week mm -hmm. not because you were disappointed but you just felt you want to look you want to stop everything you have got no interest in things that you embarked upon mm -hmm. because of a voice not because you were disappointed but because of a voice mm -hmm. a voice that said you are not good enough Mm. A voice that said, you will not make it. Mm. A voice that said, I'm only giving you two days. Mm. A voice that said, those things are not for people like you. Mm. Have you ever given up on an idea mm. because of a voice that said something? And that is what we want to discuss tonight. Hallelujah. That is what we are going to talk about tonight. And that voice is the voice of of discouragement oh, and that is the mercy. topic of tonight the voice of mm. discouragement hallelujah now as per our tradition i want to read a scripture on which we are standing on tonight the the, the scripture is taken from the book of nehemiah chapter 4 verses 1 to 3 nehemiah chapter 4 verses 1 to 3 mm. and the bible says when son balat heard that we were rebuilding <laughs> the wall he became angry Mm. and was greatly incensed. He ridiculed the Jews, and in the presence of his associates in the army of Samaria, he said, this is the voice, what are those feeble Jews doing? Mm. Will they restore their wall? Mm. Will they offer sacrifices? Will they finish in a day? Can they bring the stones back to life from those heaps of rubble? Banned as they are. <laughs> Verse 3 says, Tobiah the Ammonite, mm. who was at his side, said, mm. What are they building? Even a fox climbing up on it would break down their wall of stones. Mm. Hallelujah. Nehemiah chapter 4 verses 1 to 3. We read about a story there. An apostle tonight, we are talking about <clears throat> the voice of discouragement. Mm. Last week, we were talking about overcoming disappointment, disappointment. Yes. overcoming yes. disappointment. Mm. And today, we are talking about the voice of discouragement. And I know that many of you have heard voices. Many of you have heard things that made you perhaps to become discouraged. And I know we hear these voices every day. Now, Apostle, I want you to explain to us about the topic of tonight what is this voice of discouragement mm. you thank are you. welcome you. said to oh, okay you are so welcome amen. god bless you and for everybody online amen god bless you thank you for joining amen. i believe the lord have something great oh for yes you tonight. oh yes oh, oh yes hallelujah the voice of discouragement yes sir mm -hmm. You know, as you were reading that scripture, I, <laughs> I was smiling and I was laughing. Yes, sir. Because it, it, it sounds familiar. Oh, yeah. And I believe everyone 
at one point or the other, we've heard this type of voice. So what yes. is this voice? Before then, we, I want us to understand, you see in life, we, we always set our mind on vision mm. and dreams. We have dreams, oh, yeah. we have hopes, we have aspiration. Mm. So we say, these are the things I want to do. Yeah. And when you set to do those things, yeah. whether small or whether big, yeah. there are some negative voices, voices. negative forces mm. that come in form of voices. Yeah. You see, they will come and their aim is to oppose you mm. from doing what you want to do. Mm. is to make you stop and give up on becoming what God mm. wants you to become. So, so these forces come in form of voices. You see, they will tell you you cannot succeed. Oh, yeah. They will tell you this is not for you. Oh, yeah. They will tell you you want to start, you are too old for yeah. that. You are thinking you're going to get mad. This is not for you. Yeah. They, they, anything you put your mind to do, they will come strongly yeah. and they will want to the aim is to stop you yeah. and these are the voices of discouragement and you see the trick the enemy always use is to make us give up on what we want to do mm, that's the ultimate that is the ultimate you see the enemy knows especially for us who are children of god yeah. those of us who have been blushed were blood washed yeah. he knows he can't touch you yeah and he can't stop the plan of god for your life oh yes but what he can do is to send those voices to you ah! because he knows you are the only one who can stop yourself mm. He can't stop you. The enemy can't stop a child of God, but he knows you are the only one who can stop yourself. So mm. for you to stop yourself, he send those voices. voices. So when you listen to those voices, Jesus. He, 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 you, you will stop. The enemy doesn't want anything good for children of God. He wants us to live the ordinary life, life below average, mm. when he knows that God has called us for a life of abundance, abundance. a life of yes. excellence. Excellence, a life where we would de 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 we would declare the glory of mm. God, a life where the glory of God will be advertised yeah. to us, a life where when people see, they will say, I want to serve your God. Yes. So he knows God has got us for great thing, but he will send this voice. So these are the voice of discouragement, and it's a powerful tool the enemy always uses to stop, stop the children of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are talking about the voice of discouragement. The voice of discouragement. Now, Apostle, thank mm. you so much for that powerful explanation. I want to ask, there, mm. there are times that people... Uh, uh, would embark on doing something, mm. you know, and and then all of a sudden they feel discouraged. Mm. Is 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 this what you are talking about? Can can you just clarify for us when 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 you want to do something and you feel discouraged? Is is that the same as as what we are talking about tonight? You see, when when we talk about the voice of discouragement, oh, yeah. we are not talking about when you come to a point, try to do something, and things did not work. Oh, you yeah. get discouraged yes. more for for some moments. Okay, you know because of things are not working yeah. in place or no due to frustration, or whatever. You, you know that is a different ball game and topic itself. Okay, but right now we are talking about when the agents that the enemy has recruited mm. through different medium, through different forces, mm. through human or through any force, and they start to tell you negative words, yeah. words that will not edify you, okay. words that will bring you down, okay. words that will tell you things are negative, that you cannot make it. Yeah. And this voice always come at the critical point of your life. When you are about to do some breakthrough, when you are about to break through, or when you are in the midst, middle Kaya of Basa, achieving yeah. something, that is when these voices voice come. So those are the voices we are talking about, the voice of discouragement. Discouragement. Now, uh, now, Apostle, mm. last week mm. we spoke about disappointment. Yes, yeah. Now we are saying discouragement mm. just, just for clarity maybe someone who is online tonight might feel like me and say so what's the difference between discouragement and disappointment 
Hey, are they not the same family, <laughs> men of God? Can you just give us some clarity? Yeah, one will always lead to the other, okay. but they are different entity in itself. Okay. Discouragement and disappointment. Disappointment. You see, when you talk of disappointment, oh, yeah. if you go back to what we discussed last week, oh, yeah. disappointment is an emotional, emotional response. Okay. Emotional response to a failed expectation. Okay. When expectations are not met. met on a project in yourself yeah. or in people, yeah. you have that emotions okay. that comes that feeling. up, that feelings okay. comes up, that is disappointment. Okay. Say, I'm disappointed in this person. Okay. He promised to come, but he did not come. Mm. He did not come. So that is disappointment. You see, disappointment in life are inevitable. It comes to all of us. Yeah. It comes to all of us, but through God's help, he has taught us and he has helped us to move through it. Oh, yeah. So people, if you if you are not, uh, if you did not watch that program online, you can go on our YouTube channel mm -hmm. and you can listen to that program so you can learn yeah, uh, that is, that how to overcome the disappointment. Okay. You say, so disappointment, I can say, is when things did not go well is an emotion. Okay. But however, discouragement is actually a choice. It's okay. actually a choice, you see, a choice that comes when you hear, when things did not go well, okay. you make a choice. Okay. You, you make a choice because you, you are losing motivation. Oh yeah. When you see things not happening, oh, yeah. discouragement is a state of losing motivation. Mm. You don't have the energy, you don't have the vibe mm. to go ahead or to go on with, with that. Mm. That is discouragement. Now, the voice of discouragement, yeah voice that propels yeah, certain yeah. things to your mind so that exactly. you can be discouraged. You hear it and you focus on it and you make a choice to listen to it. Then you lose motivation mm. and a lot of things happen and you will stop what you are doing or you totally give up on your project or your dream or your vision. And that is discouragement, the voice of discouragement rather. My goodness. Apostle, you said this, this voice of discouragement mm. is a tool in the hands of the enemy. Exactly. And, it, and it's a powerful tool it's a powerful in the hands tool. of the enemy. Now, how does the enemy, you, you know, if I listen to you, I, I can almost, it might not be perfect, but I can almost say that this discouragement is, is internal. Mm -hmm. Disappointment is, is external. External, mm. yeah. to some extent. To some extent. To some extent. To some extent. Because disappointment majority are external. Yeah. But there are there are times that you are disappointed in, in yourself. yourself. Uh -huh. In yourself. Okay, that's the difference. Mm. That's the difference. Now, this voice of discouragement mm. being the tool in the hands of the enemy. Mm. How does he use it? For somebody who might who might not even know that they are actually listening to the voice of discouragement from the enemy how does he use this voice to discourage us the the the, the enemy you know is very cunning yeah he is he, 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 the father of lies oh yeah he, he speaks to us he send this voice you, you see people you don't hear the devil yeah verbally okay but he walks through medium okay so he, he speaks to us through people. Okay. He speaks to us through circumstances. Sometimes he speaks to us even through ourselves. Okay. And I'm going to break. Let me break it okay, down. Okay, please. Hallelujah. I, I want to hear. <laughs> All right. You, you see, many times he speaks to us through people. And most of the time, he speaks to us through people that are close to us. So he manipulates. He manipulates systems. And people. He, and people. And he will he will use them to speak to us. You see, sometimes it could be your spouse, sometimes it could be your children, sometimes they are your friends, sometimes it could even be members of your church Jehovah that he will use to. And most of the time, when these people <gasps> are talking, the loving people, when they are talking, they will think they are giving you good advice. Yeah, they will think they are protecting you, yeah. but not knowing. They are falling prey to the lies of the enemy because what the enemy will do, he knows he won't be able to get to you. Oh, truly. yeah. So what he will do, he will go to people who are close to you. He will change system. He will show them 
things that the will people not work. you respect the people you respect people who are close to you then he will use them to speak to you that's one way he does it and we see a lot of it in in the example in the bible if you read in the book of matthew chapter 16 matthew chapter 16 jesus was telling the disciples yeah he was telling them from verse 20 or so was telling them that i'm going to die it's for this reason i come i will the son of man will be crucified yeah. i will be given into the hand of the enemy oh, yeah. i will die and i will rise up again now in verse 22 of matthew 16 peter took him I said, you remember Peter was one of those who was close to Jesus. Yes. Peter experienced the 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 the, the, the incident on the Mount of Transfiguration. Yeah. He, he saw when things happened. Oh, yeah. Jesus, Peter saw Jesus raising up Lazarus. Yeah. He saw all these glorious oh, yeah. things. Oh, yeah. So Jesus, when Peter now heard Jesus say, you are going to die. They will kill me. He said, he took him aside. Yeah. He said, God forbid. <laughs> I forbid. It's not going to happen. You are not going to die. You are with us here. We are enjoying everything. What did Jesus say? Jesus now, knew, this is a voice of Jehovah. discouragement. He now said to Peter, Yes. Satan, the Lord rebuke, get thee behind me, Satan. And he said, Peter, your mind is on the things of this world. Your mind is not, it's not on eternal things. So you see, Peter thought he was giving a good advice. advice. He thought, ah, ah, Jesus, this one you want to do, ah, ah, it's not. So let me just stop you. But Jesus recognized this is the voice oh, of this <laughs> oh, discouragement. You, you see, another example <clears throat> you see in the book of Mark chapter 5, a, a man called Jairus went to Jesus and he said, my daughter is sick at the point of death. He said, Jesus, come. So Jesus said, I will go. Yeah. So on their way, the, the woman with the issue of blood oh, yeah. intercepted the journey yeah. and uh, he, she touched Jesus, she was healed. Yeah. And Jesus fell. Who touched me? He said, oh, I'm yeah. the one. Jesus fell. We need to do a testimony <laughs> service here. So they were having that testimony service. Yeah. The family of this guy came and said, bother not the master anymore. Your daughter is dead. Your daughter is dead. So what they were saying is they discourage him from following Jesus, from allowing Jesus. Oh, and Jesus. many of us face that, that you are on a project and Jesus, or you are doing something or you are trusting God for something. And you've gone to church, prophetic word have come. Oh, yes. And you are holding on to that word. Oh, yeah. And you are waiting. And people who are close to you will read news somewhere or they will analyze the situation then they will come to you why are you wasting your time yeah. going to church why are you wasting your time still serving god why are you wasting time still waiting on god because this situation is over you will see a woman who is or a man a partner who is praying for the the the, the husband or the wife to come back home and some people will come after this man or woman has gone to church to pray, yeah. and the Lord said, I'm going to restore your oh, home. Yeah. While you are waiting, somebody will come and say, why are you wasting time? Move on. That man, I saw him in Caribbean. I saw that woman in a Tosha with another man. Ah! He has gone. So what they are doing is, it's based a voice. on what they thought is the right thing, the enemy speak to them. So the voice come to you to discourage you from waiting on the Lord. Yeah, you, you, you see, that is one way the enemy used to speak, to release the voice yeah. of discouragement. Two people who are close yeah. to us. Sometimes he will use people who are our enemies. He will hmm. use our enemies to speak. to speak to us. You see, you read a powerful scripture in the book of... Um, Nehemiah. Nehemiah chapter 4. Yeah. Nehemiah had a body. Oh, his yeah. Heart. He said, I'm serving the king. Yeah. But my hometown, Kaya the world Basada is broken Bako down. Yami, the passion ah! and the desire to see his hometown being raised up, consumed him. Yeah. He went to the king. The king said, Why is your faith downcast? He said, I desire to go oh. home. And the Bible said, he found favor, and the Lord said, give him everything, go and rebuild the yeah. world. He came there with that vision, yeah. with passion, with the backing of his employer, with the hand of God upon him, and they began to build the world. Mm. Now, here comes the enemy. <laughs> here comes the haters. Yeah. 
Sambalat and Tobias. And Tobias. The Bible said when they started to build the wall, Sambalat was very hungry. Do you know there are people who are angry when you are making progress? Jehovah help us. A man come to propose to you, they are angry, but they won't show it. You now got a job, they are angry. They are angry. Your son now start to make progress. They are angry. You, you've been saying, hey, tr I'm trusting God for my son. Ah. I'm trusting God for my daughter. I'm trusting God for my family. They are happy that things are not going no, well. We but the moment you start to testify, they are angry. You see, Sambalat was very happy that the world was down. Yes. Everything was in ruin. Yes. We have so many Sambalats all around. Yes. But they won't come and show you that they are hungry. But they will, the enemy will use them to speak. So what happened? Sambalat was hungry. The people were making progress. progress. Instead of rejoicing, he went to them. He now said, what are these feeble? He called them feeble. <laughs> weak. He said, they are weak. What are these weaklings doing? What are they doing? And he, he was saying it not in private. Yeah. He was saying it in public, yeah. in the presence of the soldier, so that people can laugh, laugh at them. At them. What he was doing, he was very sarcastic. Yeah, over here, Most over of the people, if not all, the people, the enemy, the enemy used to release the word yeah. of discouragement are very sarcastic. sarcastic. You start a ministry, they say, oh, so you are now like Josh <laughs> You say, I've got the healing uh, anointing. I want to go to the hospital to breathe. Then they will now look at you. Hey, are you so baby? you are now Benny He. You are now Jesus. They are very sarcastic. He said, this film, what are they doing? Now, to add insult upon injury, Tobias now came. Yeah. He now said, even this so-called what they call it, even if the force climb, it will just fall down. That's that, how weak the wall that, is that you are. How using. weak what the, the wall is. So they use their word Jehovah to discourage Jehovah. them to break everything down. And you see what can happen is when you listen to such, you say, ah, they might they will have looked up and say, hey, this wall is true. It's true. <laughs> they will not be imagining the force coming up Jehovah. on it. So you start a business, and they'll say, What type of a business you are you yeah. doing in this lockdown? Yeah. How can you how can you sell ice in this end time yeah. when everybody have fridge at home? Who will yeah. buy this dirty ice you are doing? It is the voice of discouragement. Discouragement. You want to marry that girl. You are a you are a degree older. That girl did not even pass uh, grade, 12. grade 12. How will she, when you are now a CEO, how will she stand next to you when they are giving an award? So they will look for, they will concoct negative things. And if you listen to it, you begin to say, ah, maybe it is true. Mm. And the agenda is to stop you. It's to, so, discourage, it's to you. discourage you. So that you don't go ahead with what God has asked you to do. Yeah, you us. will give up on your dream and your passion. And the third way the enemy used to proclaim the uh, project, the, the, the voice of discouragement to us is by speaking to us even in our own mind. That is when you yourself begin to speak to you. Uh, will, I'm telling you, he will begin to speak, whisper ideas to you. Yeah. So that is the time you begin to have negative self-talk. Yourself. Yourself. You begin to have negative self-talk. You begin to <laughs> doubt yourself. Lord you see, us. as human beings, we are created just that way. We are constantly talking to ourselves. Yeah. All the time, your mind is talking to you. You are talking, even as you are listening to me, you are talking to yourself <laughs> right now. It can't be stopped. <laughs> it can't be stopped. Research has shown that people speak at the rate of 150 to 200 words per minute, mm. according to research. Research also said the mind can listen to about 500 or 600 words per minute. Jehovah. That is how wonderful it is. That's how God wired us. That's why many of you listening to me right now, you are listening, but your mind is on the stove. <laughs> you are thinking of what to eat for dinner. Yeah. You are preparing what will I wear for tomorrow. tomorrow. So the mind can multitask, you can talk to yourself. So when the enemy begin to show you, he suggests idea yeah. to you, you yeah. now sit and you now begin to 
process that yeah. in your mind without saying yeah say, ah, it is true look at the example of uh the 10 spies yes against the, the two spies when they went they came back to give report yes the bible said they told themselves they say we are grasshoppers, grasshoppers. in yeah. our own yeah. eyes yeah how did that come yeah they saw the land they saw the giant yeah. and the enemy whispered to them, don't you think you are too small, small for, this? for this? Then they concluded, they put a word to it. They yeah, verbalize it. So you will look at yourself and say, ah, this is not for me. Ah, ah, ah. For some people, they will sit in the, in the church mm. and the pastor will be declaring word. Yes. And the enemy will whisper, are you sure that one? They said, yeah, wealth, transfer of wealth. Do you think is that one? Even when you got that uh, blessing of 2000, you cannot manage, manage it. it. You say, ah, ah, it's not for me. I'm a failure. He will show you the error of yes, I, say, me, I can't do anything. So we begin to listen to ourselves. May Father, the Lord yes. help us. Honestly, Apostle, <laughs> I, 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 I hope we are learning tonight and, and may the Lord help us to identify that voice of discouragement. I want you to type it out and say, Lord, help me. Help me to identify the voice of discouragement. Help me to identify. Somebody just go ahead and type it out for yourself and say, Lord, help me to, to, to identify the voice of discouragement. Because I am very sure that as, as the man of God is speaking tonight, mm. that you are hearing this voice from the people who are close to you in the circle, you know, around you, your friends, family, you will hear, you know, I believe the Holy Spirit is already revealing to you, where is that voice mm. of discouragement? And I pray for myself and yourself that throughout this session, the Lord will help us to identify the voice of discouragement. Apostle, <laughs> interesting. I know the enemy is always out to score a point mm. or achieve something through through this voice of, of discouragement and, and through his agenda. Now, what is the effect of this voice of discouragement mm. on the life of a child of God? Mm. What, what is the effect? What is <laughs> What does it do to us as children of God when when we listen to this voice, this voice. You see, Jehovah when, help us. I'm actually you, angry. <laughs> when you <laughs> make the choice to listen to the voice of discouragement, yes. which is a voice of lie. Anyway, yes. What happened is that you will experience doubt. Oh yeah. And fear will come into oh, the mind. Yeah. That's when you begin to doubt yourself. Oh yeah. You start the project. You conceive the idea with so much excitement, but when you hear, hear the, the voice, voice and you listen, you start to doubt yourself. Actually, I don't think we can. Ah. Maybe they are right. Maybe this is it, it, it's it's true. true. I don't think. The doubt will come in, fear will come in, mm. and fear has a way of crippling. Oh, yeah. Oh, someone yeah. it oh, will yeah. cripple you oh, that yeah. you will not be able to rise up to do what you are supposed yeah, to do. Man. You see. When the when the devil, for example, put the thoughts and what's into our mind, what he's trying to do is is trying to stop us from becoming what God wants us to oh, be. Oh yeah, yeah. God wants us to be great. Great. Yes. He said, "I know the plans that I have for mm. you. Plan not to harm you. Oh yeah, yes. But to give you an expected end. Yes." God wants us to be great. He wants us to enjoy the life in abundance. Mm. So when you listen to the lie, you are short-circuiting yourself oh, from yeah. the blessing of God. Jesus. You are you you are blocking yourself. Your progress. You, you, you are actually setting up a barrier Jehovah. over your life because it is only you who can stop, stop yourself. yourself. Jesus mm. help and us. It, this voice will keep you. What, what happened is it creates a, 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 a cell mm. and it will sentence you to what I call the prison of doubt mm. and unbelief. He knows that you it is those who come to the Lord without faith. They will not receive. Mm. So you will continue to have doubt. Mm. You will continue to have unbelief. Yeah. You will remain in that in, in, in that prison that the enemy has created. Right. And he, the other thing that it does is it makes you to look down on yourself. 
you undermine, you undermine yourself. yourself. You have that grasshopper mentality. Jehovah Just like us. these people have done. You, you, you have. You, you see, like if you listen to it, you ah. it, it, it causes unnecessary delay. It causes unnecessary delay because today the, you start the project that should take you six months will now take you another three years yes. because you doubt yourself. Yeah. You, you, you delay, you check, you want to cross yeah. check. Sometimes God will tell you this is it. God will reveal to you by word of oh, prophecy. Jesus. He will reveal to you in revelation. You will, he will reveal to you in this word. You hear God clearly. Mm -hmm. But when this word comes, you still want to go back to God. That time of going back to God we cause delay. delay. Because most of the time, God will not listen to you. God will say, but I've spoken to you. Already. So it caused delay. Imagine when this uh, Sambala come with their spirit. I call it a uh, Sambalatic San spirit. Sambalatic spirit, yes. Antibiotic <laughs> spirit. Jesus. It caused delay to these people because they have to stop the work. Nehemiah have to go and start to pray. Say, Lord, and look at the affliction, look at what. So that time he chose to go and pray has gone in the, in the timeline of what they were supposed to do. Sure. So while you are trying to confirm and reconfirm, time is going. And it will make you to lose blessing. You see, there are some blessings sure. that come in certain time and season. Jehovah help us. If you are a farmer and you plant, there are seasons of planting yes. certain seed yes. so that you can harvest in certain seasons. Season. Yeah. If you miss on that season, you have to wait for another season. So if you are doubting that I'm supposed to plant orange and you are now not sure, now the voice of discouragement is coming. Why do you want to plant? Are you sure it's going to rain? Yeah. Are you sure this land is good? Yeah. You is will wait. Right seed? You will not try to process, to uh, process, gather information, gather information. By the time you now say, oh, I'm ready. The season, season is ah. it's gone. <laughs> hey. Many people have ah. lost their blessing Jehovah because they us. miss the time frame. Jehovah. God said, this is the woman. You are now checking. Ah. I want to check. You are not looking for opinion of yeah, this Amy. because you hear. You are now aiming before you now shoot. The birds are gone. May that not be our portion. Amen. Amen. And it, 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 it this voice is one in perpetual bondage. Mm. You don't thrive. You don't flourish because you don't hear, and it stops you from even mm. hearing the voice of God. Because the, if you uh. listen. If thou hearken to the voice, voice of discouragement once, it overshadowed the real voice of God. And the voice of discouragement is always louder than the voice of the Holy Jesus. Spirit. Jesus. Jesus. It will magnify. The enemy has a megaphone he used to, 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 to amplify its, the voice of discouragement. That when you listen to it, you won't hear the voice of God. You know what, people of God, there's a reason why you are online tonight. That you, mm. you, you, you had the choice of switching off, you had the choice of listening to something else. But I believe there's a reason the Lord brought you here mm. to this Facebook page for you to hear and identify the voice of discouragement. I believe there are people online who started some things and, and like we were explaining in the beginning, you just stop all of a sudden. You don't even know why you stopped. You don't even know why you did not complete that project. And the Lord brought you here for you to hear that it is the voice of discouragement mm -hmm. that has caused you to lose that, that zeal mm. to do what you are supposed to do. Now, Apostle, when we lock on to abundant living sessions, we are coming to learn mm. because we want to live a life of abundance. Mm. We, we don't want to struggle. And, and that is why every night, the Lord is, uh, every Thursday night, the Lord is speaking, you know, to all of us through you mm. so that we can, you know, it's almost like you, you jump one hill after, after the other. Mm. Now, we want to learn, how do we then ignore this voice? Because the enemy will always speak. 
people around us will always speak. Exactly. Systems, policies, everything, you know, will speak. When you put on your Facebook page, a word will come. The voices are everywhere. Mm. How do we ignore these voices mm. so that we can do what we are called to do? To do. Amen. That's a very good question. Mm. See, first of all, you have to be sure of your relationship with God. Mm. That is the foundation. You have to Jesus. be sure of your relationship with God. Mm. If you don't have one with him, you need to settle that. Mm. You need to. That's where it starts. That's where it starts. You have to be sure of your relationship with Jesus. God. Your relationship with God must be intact. Mm. Because when your relationship is intact, you will exalt God above every, every other. other voice. You Jesus. will exalt his voice above Jesus. every other voice. Then the second thing you need to do, you have to be certain that you are in the will of God. Mm. Because when you are not sure you are in the will of God, when you don't hear God, you just take chances. It's very possible that you will listen to any voice, voice. that comes. But if you are sure that you are in the will of God, ah, there is nothing anyone will say. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And this calls for you to be rooted, to be rooted in his word. Jehovah help us. You need to be rooted in the word of God. Mm. And even though you are rooted in the word of God, it doesn't stop the enemy from talking. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There is nothing. You see, you cannot stop the bird from flying. Mm over your head but you can stop him from making a nest over your over head. your head uh, the voice uh, will always come like you said oh yeah. oh many yeah. of us will go on social media yeah. you will see something oh yeah news is everywhere oh yeah. people in the office they will give information yes. the story yes. around but you need to be rooted and when this word come as a rooted person in the word of God, yeah. you must learn to counter Kayaba the Santa. voice oh, yeah. of discouragement yes. with the voice of God, yes. with the word of God. Oh, yeah. There was a time that Satan himself came to Jesus. Mm. After Jesus fasted, mm. he now went to Jesus. I believe we all know that mm. story. He now said, if you are the son of God, Command this stone to be bread. Jehovah. Now, pause and look at that word. That word. He said, if, if you are the son of God. That's the voice of discouragement. Because he's trying to cast doubt. He said, meaning, it, 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 I want you to prove yourself. And many of us... Have, that's, that's very powerful. Hey, many of us are falling into this trap. So that's a voice of it's a voice. It's a voice from the oh, people of hell. Jehovah. Jehovah. You see, when we will, we, we I don't I, I was talking, I can't remember where to the young people, and the enemy used this voice. Oh yeah. Of discouragement to attack your identity. It sure. happens to the young people. When this boy comes, he has no future with this lady. Yeah. What he will say is, if you love, love me. me. Give yourself to me. Jehovah. You will go. The young man will go to the bar. He said, me, I'm the child of God. I'm not, I'm not drinking. Then they will say, if you are a strong man, if you know you are strong, prove yourself Self. to us. Drink this and let us see. And the moment the guy will come, sure. he will be discouraged from following the path of righteousness. He will yes. now say, ah, let me show them. Let me show them. So, he told Jesus, if you are the son of God, how stupid can it be? <sighs> but the devil, you know what? He, dev he, he never changes his strategy. And, and Apostle, you know, if, if he could do that to the <laughs> son of, of God, God, how much more? How us? much more? So Jesus realized, uh -uh, this one is trying to discourage me. From what I'm doing, yes. because the moment I try to prove to him I'm the son you of eventually God, fall you are falling into the trap. Then you will. So Jesus counter the voice of discouragement with the word of God. Man shall not live by bread alone, mm. but by every word that comes from God. So you need to learn to ah. counter. That's why I say we must be rooted. In the word, in the word, yes. you must know the word, yes, so that when this word comes, you can say, Devil, you are a liar. Yes, this is the word of yes. God. This assignment God gave it to me, and He said He will back me up, sure. His right hand will do it for me. 
Hallelujah. Then the other thing you can do is to learn to stand your ground mm. and take authority over this voice. Yes. Take authority over this voice. Replace the voice of of discouragement with the word of encouragement in oh, the yeah. word of God. Oh, yeah. When the enemy says you cannot do it, you call the yes. word. You say, I can do all, all things, things through Christ that, yes. uh, that strengthens me. Yes. Then learn, learn as children of God to close your ears to every negative. negative. Mm -hmm. Learn to close your ears. This should be our prayer. Lord, close my ears. Put a filter on my I ears that it problem. will filter away Every voice negative, of discouragement. God, voice of discouragement. Jesus help us. And if you feel, and sometimes the, the voice of discouragement can cause pain. Mm. When you hear this voice, if you look at the case of uh, said, uh, Nehemiah with Sambalat and Tobias, mm. they call them feeble. And they, they, they rubbish the effort. effort. Me. And we are human beings, it's real. So when people come and say, what are you doing? Yeah. With all this effort, you are just wasting, wasting time. time. Yes. With all the effort, yes. you are just yes. doing this, 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 and this. Yes. We feel pain. When you yes. feel the pain, take it to God. That's mm -hmm. what Nehemiah did. Mm -hmm. Nehemiah did not confront them. So never try mm -hmm. to argue your case. Yeah. When you identify, yeah. this is the word of discouragement, mm -hmm. don't make any attempt. Oh, yeah. Oh, to yeah. prove yourself yes. right. Mm -mm. Yes. Don't try to make the person the enemy is using to speak the voice of discouragement to see your side of yeah. the sword. They will not see. see. They will not see. Because the aim is destruction. Because it's, it's destruction. Jesus Just take your us. case to help God. Us. Nehemiah did not confront Sambalat. He did not confront Tobias. He just take the case to God. Say, Lord, look at what they are saying. Jesus fight our case and he began yeah. to pray and that's how God so when this word hurt you maybe it has hurt you yeah. in the past yeah. and you realize now ah I've given up on yes. what I'm supposed yes. to do just take it to God yes. don't get angry with the people yes. it is not the people the Bible says ah. we wrestle not against flesh oh, and Rabbi blood Shandana we wrestle Rabbi. against principality yes. against power against yes. rulers of darkness yes. against wicked forces yes. in the high places so they come through people yes. even if it is your spouse your friend your pastor your colleague it is ah, not yeah, them. So Don't go and yeah. fight and just yes. take your case yes. to God. And I know God is a God of another chance. Amen. He will always give oh, yes. another chance. Amen. Maybe you have listened to and the voice of this current man. You gave up and you have missed up on the season. God will restore the Amen. time. And he will make another Amen. opportunity to come your yes. way in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are almost rounding up. up, 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 up Apostle, and I, I just want to dovetail on 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 that point where you just ended. You know, I've I've listened to someone who who was going through through a, a tough time in their marriage, and then, mm. you know, I tried to encourage this person. You know what? With God, all things are possible. But then that voice of discouragement mm. came to this lady. Mm. You know, all of a sudden there was this friend that was too close mm. and said, "No, end this thing, end this mm. thing." You know. Just, just divorce. You can't, you can't go through this. And then the person actually, you know, went through mm, a, a divorce. divorce. And oh. then after some time, she said, "You know what? I realize I gave up too soon." Mm. After some time, she said, "I realize I gave up too soon." I don't know. There might be someone online tonight mm. who, who, you know, through this message is saying, "I realize." I've listened to the voice of discouragement mm. and I gave up too soon. I realized that I gave up too soon on my son. I gave up too soon on my marriage. I gave up too soon on my career. I gave up too soon on my study. Maybe you are here online. There's a reason why the Lord brought you here. And just like you said, Apostle, God is not only a God of a second chance, but he's a God of another, another chance. chance. So it means there can be a third, a fourth, a fifth, a, fifth, a, a sixth, God is a God of another chance. Mm. And he says that the, the, the years that the canker worms have the eaten, they, he says, I will restore. So tonight, I just want you to open your heart. If you are online and you feel you have listened to the voice of discouragement somewhere in your life, and you are sitting here and saying, I should not have listened. 
you have come to the right time. Apostle, can you just minister to someone tonight who is going through discouragement and disappointment because of that voice? Of Hallelujah. Discouragement. Hallelujah. 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 Glory Hallelujah. be to God. Our God is a merciful God. God. He says, Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Father, Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Jesus, I bring your son, I bring your daughters no, ba, ba, all ba, 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 across the nation of the world. Yes, Lord. No. As they ba, 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 the voice of discouragement has caused pain. Yes. It has caused havoc. Yes. It has caused so much damage. Oh. But Lord, you are God who restores. Yes, I pray that the anointing of restoration will locate there in the mighty name of Jesus. Every opportunity they have missed. Father, I pray you will represent it to them in the mighty name of Jesus. Heal all the pain. Heal all the frustration in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, let your hand be upon them Amen. in the mighty name of yes, Jesus. Lord. Every blessing the enemy has stolen, we pray that it will be restored. It will be given to them yes. with interest, yes. with interest in yes. the name of yes. Jesus. I pray that you will release the garment of praise instead of the garment of shame in the name of Jesus. Perfect everything that concerns them. Make crooked way straight to God in the name of Jesus yes, and I pray that you yes, will strengthen Lord. their mind yes, for everyone listening Holy Spirit I pray yes. that you will help them to filter away yes. every voice of discouragement yes, in the mighty name of yes, Jesus Lord. they will only hear your voice they will only hear your voice yes. and they will act into your voice yes, in the name of Jesus yes, we thank you everlasting Lord. Father Lord. to you O God be all the glory yes. in the name of Hallelujah. Of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. We give God all the glory that He has spoken to us tonight. And just like the man of God said, you know what? Do not listen to that voice ever again. Mm. And the Lord will help you to identify the voice of discouragement. And Apostle, it doesn't come, you know, as a voice of discouragement at all times. Mm. It comes through, you know, as if they are giving you advice. advice. So mm. may the Lord help you to filter out <clears throat> and know the voice of dis <clears throat> discouragement in your life. Don't be discouraged if you are a businesswoman and it's only one customer you have. Don't be, be discouraged. discouraged. If you are a pastor, you only have five members. Don't be discouraged. Your reward is settled in heaven. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Your reward is settled in heaven. If you are an entrepreneur and you are starting up, don't be discouraged. Even if you are working, don't be discouraged. The Lord himself will give you the reward in the name of oh, Jesus. Jesus. I just want to thank everyone who has been online tonight. I want to thank Prince Saul Javera. May the Lord bless you. Thank you so much for coming online. I want to thank God for Princess Nicole. Thank you for coming online. God bless you. Madam Evelyn Labert, God bless you. Thank you for coming online. Uh, Princess Sharon Herze and the family, may the Lord bless you. Thank you for coming online. Princess Albertine, God bless you. Thank you for coming online. Jeff Gola, thank you so much for coming online. God bless you. Madam Mona Clute, God bless you, sweetheart. Thank you for coming online. Madam Elizabeth Wise, Wise, thank you so much for coming online, Ma. God bless you. Blessing. God bless you. Thank you for coming online. Princess Poe, thank you for coming online. God bless you. Uh, 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 is Prince Rongs. Shavera, God bless you. Thank you for coming online. And our mother all the way from Zambia. Thank you so much for coming online, Ma. Reverend Dr. Matilda Safwali, and I know Dad should be somewhere uh, next to you. Thank you so mm -hmm. much for coming online tonight. God bless you. Madam Matilda chooses. God bless you. Thank you for coming 
online. Mama Liena Hifiti Keko, all the way from mm. Ochivarango. Thank you so much for coming online. God bless you. Madam Maureen Lisa Klassen, Stephanes, thank you so much, women of God, for coming online. God bless you. Uh, Madam Rosetta Case, thank you for coming online. God bless you. And Prince Herte. God bless you. Thank you so much for coming online. Everyone, even those of you who will watch this program later on, may the Lord bless you. Thank you for coming online. This was the final program for the months of October and November. Next month, we will not have abundant living session. We will mm -hmm. also not have women on the threshing floor because next month, the month of November, we are focusing on effectual fervent prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a midnight program. We are starting every night from the 1st of November to the 30th of November. We will be online and we are praying. The Bible says the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much. I'm telling you, there were so many testimonies last year about what the Lord has done throughout EFP. And we are coming with season two because the Lord said so. And I know that you will surely testify. So tomorrow evening, we will be gathered again on the threshing floor. All the women, I invite you for the grand finale. Also the last one for October and the last one uh, until December. So we will also not have women on the threshing floor for the month of November as we are focusing only on effectual fervent prayer. And if you are in Ventuk and you don't have a place of worship, please do join us at the Royal House. That is Abundant Life Ministries Royal Assembly at 110 Robert Mugabe Avenue. Our services are starting at 10. And trust me, we obey all the COVID-19 rules and regulations. There is ample space. And this coming Sunday, we are saying it's the Sunday for family and friends. The Sunday where we just want to pray for families, we want to pray for friends. So please grab your friend, bring your families, and let us pray together as families and friends god bless you thank you so much for coming online see you tomorrow evening women on the threshing floor and then we meet online every midnight for effectual fervent prayer god bless you Amen.